Once AJ Styles retained the WWE Championship at Fastlane, I already knew what was coming. I already knew what to expect. All these fans, via their differing digital devices, were going to be calling loud and proud for Shinsuke versus AJ for the WWE title to main event WrestleMania. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. And you were going to hear reasons such as these. I gotta tell you, the Royal Rumble winner is supposed to headline and main event WrestleMania every year. That's what they say on television, and most importantly of all, that's what they say on the Square Circle Reddit page. And it's on the internet. And if it's on the internet, it has to be true. So much story between these two. It's Shinsuke. It's AJ. It's Bullet Club. It's New Japan. Imagine the star ratings that Dave Meltzer will give this match. Two of the biggest wrestling stars in the motherfucking world. And they have massive draws. And the only thing that holds them back from drawing more people is the size of the venue. You could build that arena to the stratosphere and fans would still come to pay and see it. Why? Because this match is going to be Milky Way rating worthy. And the WWE can't have Roman Reigns main event again. They can't send the people home. Unhappy? That's not how this thing works at WrestleMania! Shinsuke, AJ, no matter who wins, no matter who loses, the match is gonna be great, and the people are gonna go home happy! It will clearly be the match of the night! It's Shinsuke! It's AJ! Nothing's gonna be able to follow it! Nothing's gonna be able to live to it! These guys are gonna tear the mother frickin' house down! The story between these two is so much better. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, been there and done that. You've got Shinsuke, you've got AJ. The story sells itself, it tells itself. It will be just the shot of life that SmackDown needs on the road to WrestleMania. And for the indie loving New Japan cuckin' wrestling fans just like Marcus Smart, I'm sure there are those reasons that he provided and so many more as to why you all believe that Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship should main event WrestleMania. WrestleMania! The biggest wrestling show of the year! And we're gonna main event Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles. Give me a freaking break here! Here's the problem with these arguments! First, first, and this is a big thing, that so many can't seem to get through their dense skulls. When they talk about the Royal Rumble winner headlining and main eventing WrestleMania, number one, headlining doesn't automatically mean main eventing. Main eventing in WWE only means going last. No other spin you can put on it changes that fact. The main event of WrestleMania has been and always will be the match that goes on last, period. And when you look at the recent history over the last 10 years, there is no indication that the Royal Rumble winner in any way, shape, or form has to main event WrestleMania or close out the show for WrestleMania. In fact, it's only happened with five of the last 10 Royal Rumble winners. That's a 50% margin. And when you look at that, even for the five that have, who was it? 2009, Randy Orton. You're about to see a theme here. 2013, John Cena. Gee, getting warmer on the theme here. 2014, Batista. We're getting really hot here. 2015, Roman Reigns. We're on fire now. And 2016, praise God, Ugga. Those are the five guys over the past ten years that won the Royal Rumble that went on to main event WrestleMania. What do all five of those winners have in common? It is John Cena, Randy Orton, Triple H, Batista, Roman Reigns. They are all either directly affiliated with members of or as a byproduct associated with the freaking Breakfast Club. And the last time I checked, Shinsuke Nakamura... Being Triple H's boy or not, in no way, shape, or form indicates that he is a freaking Breakfast Club member. And nor is he anywhere close to it. And in fact, when you look at the five guys that won the Rumble that did not go on to main event WrestleMania, four of them were on SmackDown. Four of them. Edge in 2010, ADR 2011, Sheamus 2012, Randy Orton 2017. 
Hell, it got so bad that even a Breakfast Club member like Orton wins the damn Rumble and he's not main eventing because it was on SmackDown in a feud that they didn't give a crap about. So now Shinsuke, who's been kind of toiling away, just hanging out there, all of a sudden he's going to freaking main event WrestleMania when the previous history indicates he has no chance in hell? Give me a damn break! Stop wet dreaming about this crap from New Japan and thinking that WWE is the same thing. Oh, they got history. Them with the Bullet Club in New Japan. That's awesome. Ah, oh, shut up. There's much more history for an AJ Styles with guys like Samoa Joe and Bobby Roode, and you most certainly do not hear me advocating for him to main event WrestleMania against one of those guys. New Japan is New Japan, and a lot of WWE fans have no freaking clue about New Japan. Get that through your skulls! And just because it was one story in one way going back to Japan doesn't automatically mean it translates to WWE. If that is the best reason you could give, the best justification that you can give, might I suggest you circle back the freaking wagons because your justifications suck! This is not New Japan, it is WWE, and they can give a crap less about it other than vaguely mentioning it from time to time. When you're talking about main eventing and closing WrestleMania, it should figure out to either A, feature your biggest, most important stars, or B, feature your hottest, biggest money drawing story going into that show. Shinsuke AJ ticks off neither one of those boxes. In no way, shape, or damn form does it other than in somebody's delusional New Japan cuck and mine. Brock and Roman, even with their lack of massive star power and drawing power, are bigger draws than Shinsuke and AJ and WWE. Facts. Accept it. Not to mention, thinking about Triple H and Kurt Angle and Stephanie McMahon and Ronda Rousey, potentially their tag match main eventing. Who the hell has more star power? Who the hell is going to get more mainstream attention? You think Shinsuke and AJ is going to get mainstream attention? You're fucking insane! You can't possibly do that with Roman. Are you serious? You have a whole decades plus of evidence that they did just that with Cena. The whole notion that they can't possibly have a Roman main event because if it wins, they'll get booed out of the building. How many times seen a main event get booed out of the damn building? It doesn't freaking matter. Reigns getting booed out of the building. They still had a freaking main event. And knowing it's like that because they've now changed the justification for that to they're in the reaction business. That's what they're all about. And when you talk about Roman Reigns possibly closing the show, and I'm not fully convinced that he is closing the show, but if he is... It's a match they've been building to for several years now, really been focusing on for a freaking year. And even if Roman gets booed out of the freaking building, they're just going to turn down the microphones and the audience any damn ways, and they're going to edit the boos out in future showings of the damn pay-per-view. So what the hell difference does it make? They, they can't. They can, and you know damn good and well they will. And how much difference will it make? In the grand scheme of things, absolutely nothing. Being somebody that hasn't watched New Japan over the years, when I started hearing about Shinsuke Nakamura coming to WWE, he's going to be down at NXT, and all these fans pumping him so full of goddamn smoke, I sat there and wondered, he's either that damn good or he's that damn overrated. And based off of what I've seen in the main roster run with WWE on retarded Raw, you guys overrated the fuck out of this dude. I don't want to hear your crap. I don't want to hear your excuses. It is about the reality of what is. And the reality of what is, is that Shinsuke has been Nakaboring. Bordering on Nakamoron. And that's a fact. And all of a sudden we live in this fantasy world that because he used to wrestle in Japan, him and AJ could go out there and have match of the night. I would trust AJ Styles, based off of his work and reputation, to deliver a WrestleMania main event worthy match. There is nothing about Shinsuke's WWE run, and that's what we have to go off of, and that's what we have to focus on, because that is the current modern reality. Get that through your thick skulls! There is nothing, and I repeat again, absolutely nothing, that gives you any type of indication other than delusions and pure, unadulterated fantasy that Shinsuke could go out there and have a WrestleMania main event worthy fucking match. Name the good matches that Shinsuke's had on the main roster. 
I'll wait. Oh, that's right. It wouldn't take you long because it won't take one hand. It won't take three fingers. It probably only takes one finger. And the real truth is, here's a real kick in the seat for you. Easily, the best work, the best match that Shinsuke has had on the main roster was the 2018 Royal Rumble only because it got down to the final two. And it was like it was fans versus Vince McMahon, Shinsuke versus Roman. How ironic is that? That Shinsuke's best match in WWE on the main roster be came because of fucking Roman Reigns. The hell makes you think that Shinsuke AJ automatically is going to be match of the night? Are you insane? Above all else, above all else, finally, lastly, and this should end this crap once and for all. I don't care what anybody says. You can't just throw two guys out there at Mania, put them in the main event, and think that's going to get the job done. That's lazy. That's stupid. Of course, I would expect nothing less from today's wrestling business. But, you can't do that. So assuming that you want there to be some type of interest level in the actual match of the characters, you want some type of interesting story leading up to this biggest match at the biggest show of the year, you're going to trust Road Dog to book that fucking story on the road to WrestleMania? Are you freaking serious? You want Road Dog to be in charge of the main event of WrestleMania's story. Are you crazy, drunk, high, or just complete and total retards? Have you watched for so long as Road Dog took SmackDown Live and turned it into retarded Raw that you have become wrestling retarded yourself? You want Road Dog to be responsible for the creation, the molding, the moving along of the main event WrestleMania storyline? Have you not seen his work on SmackDown? Have you not seen how he has made it retarded raw? Are you freaking serious? If you don't agree with any of my other reasons, fine. This right here, though, should be the reason that shut shit down. There is no way in hell that you could trust Road Dog to book the main event story for WrestleMania with Shinsuke and AJ Styles. Hell, look at what he did on SmackDown Tuesday. You're going to get three plus weeks of that crap. And you want him in charge of booking your main event angle for Mania? You're fucking insane. I haven't convinced you by now that Shinsuke versus AJ main eventing WrestleMania 34 is ridiculous. Then I don't know what's going to do the trick. You can't sit there and be talking about tweeting hashtag fire road dog and then be perfectly comfortable with trusting him to book the main event angle for WrestleMania. Ali, this is why you need me to bring some sanity to the room. Because remember, I'm the Schlag Daddy. This is OTRS Central. Not the wrestling show you want. Just the wrestling show you need. And by God, you need it right now. That's for damn sure. Fucking shit. Versus AJ in the main event. Half of that match deserves to be in the main event. And it sure as hell ain't Shinsuke.